good memories of uh, Thanksgiving. Um, and a few of those were at my sister and brother-in-law's house outside of Chattanooga, Tennessee, uh, when my father was still alive. And one of the things he always insisted on was before we, we could eat and while we we're all sitting around the table, we all had to be thankful for something. And uh, as we go around the table, we had to have whatever letter it was in Thanksgiving and find something to be thankful for. Uh, I remember several times sitting there going through like, okay, what do I have? What, <laughs> what do I have to be thankful for that starts with a V or an I or an N? Um, in all honesty, it was, it was a really sweet time. But, you know, many of us as we face Thanksgiving um, may have a, have a hard time coming up with things to be thankful for. And if we do come up with something, oftentimes it's superficial because we get so buried under the concerns of the world. Um, one of my favorite psalms is Psalm 136. And it is psalm, it, it, it just starts with these words. Um, oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Um, and then it goes on for 26 times to say his steadfast love endures forever. But central to and underneath his steadfast love is the goodness of God. Um, I think we struggle with that concept because we seem to think that God is only good when life is going well. But because God's character is good, he is the very definition of good. All that he does is good. He can't do anything other than being good. In James chapter 1, verse 17, we read, Every good and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Everything that's good in this world comes from God, and God never changes. That is such a beautiful concept. And then when we add that to his steadfast love um, that never changes, we have much to be thankful for. God is good and his steadfast love endures forever. I like to put it this way, and, and maybe you could reflect on that this Thanksgiving. Um, not only is God good and he's gracious to us and he gives us so much more than we deserve in this life, but ultimately his goodness is rooted in the fact that he loves us and he loved us enough to send his sin to son Jesus Christ to not only die on the cross for our sins, but to live the perfect righteous life that we couldn't live. And his love is steadfast because it never ends. It doesn't change and he will keep loving us until we are with him in heaven. I like this. Basically, when we talk about the steadfast love of God, it is that he never quits. He never gives up on us, despite of how, what our attitude is or where, what we're feeling about him. I tell you what, that in itself is something significant to be thankful about. I'm Bob Warner, and I'd like you to think about that.